I'm Catherine from Richmond, Virginia, and thank you for joining me to learn about settlement options. Settlement options are the different choices that are available when an insurance company is going to pay money out because a policy has matured. And a policy can mature in either of two ways. Either the insured dies and the beneficiary receives the death benefit, or the insured lives until the endowment age, which in the case of a whole life policy is age 100. Now the policy owner chooses the settlement option prior to the death of the insured, but if the policy owner did not choose an option, then it would be up to the beneficiary to choose that option if they want to. Settlement options are also available on an annuity. When the annuity owner gets to the end of the accumulation phase and they want to start taking money out of the annuity, they can choose one of these settlement options. And the settlement options are cash, interest only, annuity certain, and life income. Well, cash is simple. That just means that the insurance company is sending out a check. And if that check represents a death benefit, then there are no taxes payable on it. If, however, the check is the proceeds from an endowment or from an annuity, part of the money is going to represent return of principal, and part of the money is going to represent interest. And the interest portion is always going to be taxable. The next settlement option is interest only. If a beneficiary chooses interest only, that just means that the insurance company is hanging on to the principal and making payments of interest only to the beneficiary. It's usually a temporary arrangement until the beneficiary can choose some type of a permanent arrangement. The insurance company does have to make interest payments to the beneficiary at least annually, and because it is all interest, that means it's going to be all taxable. Well, the third settlement option is called annuity certain. And it's called an annuity certain because the insurance company only pays out for a certain period of time. An annuity certain can be either fixed period or it can be fixed amount. An example of a fixed period annuity certain would be the lottery. A lottery winner receives annuity payments for a certain period of time. In the insurance world, let's take a look at an example of a $100,000 death benefit. Now, if the beneficiary knows that they want to receive payments over a five-year period of time, the insurance company would just divide that $100,000 by five years and make payments of $20,000 per year plus interest to the beneficiary. The part that represents the death benefit is going to be tax-free, and the part that represents the interest is going to be taxable. An annuity certain could also be a fixed amount annuity. If it's a fixed amount annuity, that means the beneficiary knows the amount of money that they want to receive every year. So if we once again look at an example of a $100,000 death benefit, and the beneficiary knows that they need to receive $10,000 per year, well, the insurance company will just start making payments of $10,000 per year until that money runs out. Once again, part of every payment is going to be the death benefit, which is tax-free. Part of every payment is going to be interest, and we know that interest is always going to be taxable. Well, the fourth settlement option is a life income. If a beneficiary or an annuitant chooses the life income, they're saying to the insurance company, here, you take this money. I'm turning all the money in the death benefit or in the annuity over to you in exchange for your promise that you're going to pay me for as long as I live. We say that they are annuitizing. And when someone annuitizes, the insurance company needs to know two things about that person. They want to know the person's age, and they also want to know the person's gender. And based on those two factors, plus how much is in the account and an assumed interest rate, the insurance company calculates how much they're going to pay out to that annuitant every year. Well, let's say that the annuitant has chosen a straight life annuity. The insurance company starts making payments to that annuitant once they have annuitized. And it doesn't matter how long that annuitant lives. They've just got good genes. They're taking good care of themselves. They just keep receiving those annuity payments. They could be 74, 94, 104 years old. They've received all the principal and all the interest. But as long as they are still alive, they keep receiving annuity payments. But on the other hand, what if an annuitant only receives payments for a few years? and then they die. Well, the definition of a straight life annuity is when the annuitant dies, all the payments stop. 
And it doesn't matter that they may have only received a small percentage of the money that was in there when the account was annuitized. Remember the definition of a straight life annuity, when the annuitant dies, all the payments stop. Well, some people don't like that idea. They don't like the idea that if they were to die, the insurance company would get to keep the rest of the money. So they want some kind of a minimum guarantee. So when the account is annuitized, the annuitant could choose life with period certain. If they choose life with period certain, the insurance company would continue to pay them for as long as they lived. However, if they died before the end of that period certain, the insurance company would have to continue making payments to their beneficiary. So for example, what if an annuitant chooses life with a five-year period certain? They start receiving payments, but die after only three years. Well, since they've chosen life with a five-year period certain, the insurance company would have to continue making payments to their beneficiary for the remaining two years. Remember, if the annuitant didn't die, but continued to live past those five years, the annuitant would continue receiving payments from the insurance company. Well, if that guarantee isn't good enough, there's one other guarantee the annuitant could have chosen at the time they annuitized. There's something called refund life. Now, under refund life, the insurance company guarantees that at least the amount that was in the annuity at the time it was annuitized is going to be paid out to somebody. The annuitant will receive payments for as long as they live, but if they happen to die before that total had been paid out, then the balance would be paid to their beneficiary. For example, what if we have a $50,000 annuity and only $35,000 have been paid out at the time of the annuitant's death? Well, that remaining $15,000 would have to be paid out to a beneficiary. And it could be paid in one lump sum, or it could be paid in installments over a period of time. So when it comes to the life income settlement option, there are three different choices. An annuitant could choose at the time they annuitize the straight life annuity, they could choose life with period certain, or they could choose a refund life annuity. Now there's one other twist that we can put on to that life annuity, and that's what if two people are both depending on that income from the annuity. You might have mom and pop, you know, they're both depending on that income. Well, they could choose a joint annuity. A joint annuity, however, means that when either one of them dies, all the payments are going to stop. It would be better if they both need that income to choose a joint and survivor annuity. With a joint and survivor annuity, payments would continue as long as either one of them was still alive. Now, it could be a joint and 100% survivor, where the payments would stay the same upon the death of the first, or it could be a joint and 50% survivor where the payments would drop to half when the first person died, or maybe even something in the middle like joint and two-thirds survivor where the payments would drop by one-third when the first person dies. So that joint and survivor option could be added to any of those life income annuities. So just to recap what we've talked about, we've been talking about the settlement options. Once again, the settlement options were cash, interest only, annuity certain, which include both the fixed period and the fixed amount annuity, and life income. Under life income, we had three options. There was the straight life, the life with period certain, and the refund life option. And remember that joint and survivor could be added to any of those life income options. So that's it for settlement options. Thank you for joining me, and I hope this has helped you to understand and learn settlement options.